My name is Bas Karderman and I'm from the Netherlands. Currently, I'm an assistant professor at the Erasmus School of Economics. When I was a child, I didn't have a person that I really loved to be. I was much more focused on having a great time. So there's not a perfect example of someone who I wanted to be. It's more that I really like people who are determined and focused. Studying was great. I think in terms of uh, facilities, the Erasmus is like a really, really nice university because I like sports and it's very easy to do a lot of sports here at the university. When I finished my masters, I basically immediately started with my PhD. I asked uh, my favorite professor whether I could pursue a PhD and he was actually quite willing to give me the chance to write a research proposal. And in that gap year that I wrote the research proposal, I worked here at the Erasmus School of Economics as a lecturer. I started teaching. I set up a course, Organization and Strategy, that still exists. And I really got inspired to make the combination between teaching and doing research. My main focus of research is firm strategy and emerging markets, and I have a particular focus on financial services. I think it's a very uh, recent and hot topic. At the moment, I'm also involved in setting up a whole new academic skills program for, for the Erasmus School of Economics. The whole process of Chinese firms investing abroad, that's relatively new. So we don't know that much about the underlying strategies of these Chinese firms and the reasons why they invest and where they invest. There's also a personal interest because I'm really interested in what's um, happening in the field of firm strategy. And Chinese firms, because they're actually quite new to the world scene on, of investment, they might have different underlying reasons and mechanisms that actually drive their strategic choices where and when to invest. The Chinese culture plays a large role in the location choices of Chinese multinationals. So in our research, we wanted to find out to what extent Chinese culture in terms of social relationships, what we call guanxi capitalism, in terms of family linkages, friends, business associations, business linkages, they all play a role in determining where Chinese firms are investing abroad. The need for local information and market knowledge for Chinese multinationals in Europe varies per sector. You see that in manufacturing, they, have, uh, they need to have less knowledge about their customers because they're mainly uh, facilitating trade. In services, that's a totally different story. You see that you immediately connect to your customers and you also need to have more information about local market preferences. So the need for local information and market knowledge is much stronger in services than in manufacturing. So you see that firms, Chinese firms from service sectors are much more willing to invest in locations where there is an abundance of Chinese migrants that can actually provide information about the local market and the local business environment. So you see that the role of Chinese migrant communities is much more important in service sectors than in manufacturing. The determinants of Chinese multinationals in Europe are uh, wage costs. So wage costs are very important. Second, um, historical trade relations, they are very important. I think Rotterdam is a well-known example. We have a long-lasting relationship with trade with China. Similar activity, so a Chinese firm that is active in a particular sector prefers to locate in those, uh, in those areas where that sector is also present. And accessibility, so a region needs to be easily accessible from China. So Chinese firms prefer to invest in those locations where they have easy access from and to China. In my opinion, the Netherlands is the perfect location for Chinese multinationals. We are very open for foreign cultures, we are very open for FDI, and if you look at the determinants of Chinese multinationals, then I think we are the perfect fit. 
My name is Bas Karderman and my message to the students is work hard, pursue your dreams and most importantly, enjoy yourself.